It is always difficult to assess the relationship between our finest American contemporary authors and their literary predecessors, since such an assessment generally implies a relative assessment of worth. This spark note has tried to suggest a few ways in which Cormac McCarthy can be considered an heir to William Faulkner and Ernest Hemingway. Think of one or two authors from an earlier literary generation other than Hemingway and Faulkner and write about the relationship of their work to McCarthy's All the Pretty Horses. The Western genre of film and literature has been important and popular in American culture, from High Noon in 1952 to Dances with Wolves in 1990, from the novels of Owen Wister to those of Louis L. Amor. What makes for genre fiction is the adherence to certain literary conventions the application to the text of a certain literary ideology. Drawing from your knowledge of outside sources, try to describe the conventions of a Western. In what ways is all the pretty horses a Western? In what ways, if any, does it transcend the Western genre? It has often been remarked, especially with the rise of feminist criticism in the late 20th century, that novels about the West are essentially novels about masculinity. Women tend to play minor roles, serving as plot devices and novels concerned with the importance of manhood and the proper way to act like a man. Is this generalization true about all the pretty horses? What are the roles of women in this novel? How are they different, if at all, from the roles of men? What can you say about the relationship between John Grady Cole and the women in all the pretty horses? What about John Grady Cole's attitude towards women? All the Pretty Horses is a novel set at the end of the mythic era of cowboys. In some important ways, the novel is about the end of that era. What are John Grady Cole's feelings about the end of the cowboy era? What symbolism does the novel use to signify that end? In your answer, try to get beyond merely talking about sunsets. In McCarthy's view, what does the end of that era mean, about the way the world and its inhabitants have changed? All the Pretty Horses contains scenes of depraved cruelty, vicious cynicism, and bloody violence. It also contains scenes demonstrating hope, love, loyalty, and warmth. Do you think, in the end, that this is an optimistic or a pessimistic novel? What does the novel has to say about human nature, and the capacity of men and women for good and evil?